mean by lazy management? What do I mean by lazy management? It means that you can't shoot your own dog. How many of y'all remember the movie by uh, Walt Disney, Old Yeller? Okay. Uh, Old Yeller is the quintessential aspect of managers being placed in difficult positions. And I'll, I'll tell you the story about it, and then I'll give you a little example of what I'm talking about. In the story of Old Yeller, which, by the way, yeller is a primary color in Texas, what we have is a, a dog that comes up, is adopted by the family, becomes part of the family, kind of like a new employee. Comes in, has some difficulties in the beginning, then becomes part of the, part of the corporate structure, part of the family. Along the line, there's some difficulties. Those difficulties are managed and supervised and everything's working well. Finally, at the end of the story, the dog has become a valued member of the family, has saved the younger brother, the older brother, and eventually even saves the mother. Uh, this story took, takes place in Texas back in the 1840s, and that year they had a big problem with rabies. And the storyline is that Yeller protects the mother from a rabid wolf. And as the process goes on, she saves the mother, the boy runs up, shoots the dog, everything is fine, until they realize that no sane wolf would have attacked that close to the, to the fire. So young Travis, at 14 years old, is faced with the same problem that each of us have had as managers and supervisors. We have a potential problem. What do we do about it? Well, nobody wants to shoot the dog. Nobody wants to fire an employee. Travis did a very intelligent thing. He said, well, we can't go into denial because if it's true that Yeller does have rabies, he could get out and hurt somebody else or create more problems within the organization. So let's put him in a, in a pen and watch him. Let's put him on probation and watch and see what happens. Is this an isolated incident or is this a pattern of behavior? Well, sure enough, they wait the 10 days and on the very last day they're bringing Old Yeller out, they walk up to the cage and he has rabies. The probation period has ended and we find that the problem still continues. Travis is faced with the fact that he does not want to shoot his dog, his friend. Managers are faced with they don't want to be the bad guy and have to fire this person. At the same point in time, we cannot go into denial because best case scenario, the dog dies a horrible and terrible death. Best case scenario over here, the employee is going to always be unsuccessful and create turmoil within the organization. The decision is made to shoot the dog the decision is made to terminate the employee. That's what I mean by being able to shoot your own dog, taking responsibility and do the right things. Now, how does this equate to lazy management? Okay, I'm gonna take you four people on the front row. Y'all work for me, okay? You are an absolutely wonderful employee. I can count on you to do anything that I've ever asked you to do. You are excellent, you're dedicated, you're hardworking, you're always there, you're doing really good work. You two in the middle, y'all are new. You're trying to figure out which way things are going, what's the system that we've got here, okay? You, you are a rotten piece of dog meat. You are the worst employee that I have ever seen in my life. You're never on time. You miss every deadline possible. You are an absolute slug, okay? <laughs> now, management comes in and says, okay, Bob, you can give out a 6% raise. I walk in and I say, I want you all in my office in five minutes. You walk in and I tell you, each of you get a 6% raise. That's lazy management. Now. What have I done? Well, I didn't want to have to do the hard things. I didn't want to have to hurt anybody's feelings. I didn't want to have to go through the process. So here's what has occurred. I have just validated this individual, the slug, that everything that he has not done has missed his performance. Fine. I've rewarded his ineptitude. I have invalidated you on the other end, my star employee, by saying with all of the stuff that you've done and all of the activity that you've given, your performance is worth no more than the slugs. And here's the bad part. 
You two in the middle now know exactly which direction to go in and exactly what to expect from this company. That, ladies and gentlemen, is one example of lazy management and someone that cannot shoot their own dog. If you can't do the hard things, get out of the business.